They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and that can't be more true for actress Mamie, Mamie Gummer. Gummer. She's the daughter of the one uh, and the only most celebrated actress of our time, Meryl Streep. But Mamie shows off her own serious, serious acting chops on Streep's on-screen daughter in the new movie, Ricky and the Flash. Yeah, in the film, the two have a strained relationship, which Ricky, played by Streep, is trying to repair. Take a look. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any money. You have a credit card? Yeah, but it's still linked to Max's account. Oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> Hop in! And oh, hilarity yes. ensues. Yes. And it's so nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, yeah. too. Yeah, and you, I, I loved reading that you've come to grips with the fact that you will forever be Meryl Streep's daughter and embrace the elephant. Yes. You call her the elephant in the room. <laughs> she likes that. <laughs> I don't know that she'd love being called the elephant. She looks very sexy and sleek in this movie, she though. Sure she sure does. Yeah, she's very buff. Right? Yeah, yeah. You, on the other hand, did not take this on as a vanity role, <laughs> did you? No. No, far from, far from. But although it, it takes a long time to look that bad. Well, you got to tell. <laughs> Not for the, us. When I, know, when I saw your when it, your kind of opening 15 or 20 minutes, you you obviously haven't showered or anything like that. And your You're going hair, through a thing in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair looks like uh, you know my pre keratin hair. And I looked at it and I was like, I know that that look um, very well. Well, when I you know if I don't, I just go. I look like you know the, the girl from the ring, just sort of like stringy. But it, it's it's such a fascinating. Um, story. Yeah. It really is. It, in a nutshell, it, it, your mom played, mm -hmm. has left the family. I'm not going to give away too much, but you left you at quite young to follow her dream. She said you can't be both, right? Basically, you can't be a... And tell us about your relationship yeah. with her in this movie. Well, uh, I would say strained would be mm -hmm. putting it lightly. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, what I think is, is interesting and, and kind of lovely is that, uh, you know, she comes to to realize that she has more in common with yeah. with this woman than than she um, than she maybe like or thought, and by kind of recognizing those similarities and the things that they share, yeah. she kind of comes into her own even more. Because there is love in the family. Sure, there's there is. Love. There is a very there is a very deep and abiding. But there's love. also yeah. consequences of choices sure. that we make. D right. Does your mom <laughs> give you like when you're in the middle of a scene and you're doing something mm -hmm. and it's cut? Does she say, honey? Look, you were great there, but what you should do, you know what might help you is if you do X, Y, and Z. Or do, or she hands off. No, she really, she? she really, she really backed off. And that was also part of the um, you know, we respected Jonathan Demi, our director, uh, was determined to keep us geographically and physically kind of separated. Oh, really? Yeah. And let him be the boss. Yeah, so let yeah. him be the boss. So uh -huh. no talking in between takes, I heard. No, no, I kind of, uh, I, I was a bit sequestered. I, you know, we shot everything in this house in Westchester, and they had dressed one of the bedrooms as Julie's room. Uh -huh. And so in between, you know, seeing setups, I would, I would just go up there and get into her bed and, you know. Was it hard to, like, so. curse your mom out? I mean, because you had to say some really hurtful things to her. But maybe they're true and it wasn't hard at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say that getting in touch with um, a kind of rage was yeah. uh, maybe a little bit too easy. <laughs> but it was also kind of like it was a blind rage. It could have been anyone. Anyone. You know, and yeah. there's, there certainly is no overlap. Well, this was wounded person. animals, which is what you yeah. are in this. Wounded. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they lash out. Yeah, they're like yes. feral. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And it was, it was fun. Had to be fun. This is, yeah. Yeah. This, <laughs> is so much fun. this is not the first time you've acted with your mom. We dug through the archives. Uh, 21 months old you were. You were in heartburn with your mom. I think we have a little look at you. <laughs> and apparently you got better reviews than your oh. mother, which never happens. Yeah, <laughs> what was the review? This is what it's, this is from the Times. An in, inordinately cute baby is already accomplished enough to steal scenes from Miss Merrill. <laughs> not so bad, right? Well, it's, yeah, not much has changed. She still feeds me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really are so superb in this film. Yeah. Just I really, excellent. So, thank you. Merrill's all right, but you are so good. <laughs> and the big surprise is also how fantastic uh, Rick Springfield is. Yeah. Oh, my great. He's, he's so great good. It, it, you're going to love this movie. It's yeah. called Ricky and the Flash. And the music is so much fun. Yeah. It's great. So enjoy it this weekend. All right. Thank you. Thank so you. nice to meet you. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Today Show YouTube fans, thanks for checking out our channel. And here's how you subscribe. You click the button down here. Yeah, and then what? And then you click on any of the videos over here. And you can watch the latest celebrity interviews. We have highlights. You can watch us all the time. Digital exclusives, too. I didn't even know we had one. Oh, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs>